Kenizero reaction. Well, I will teach you the complete concept and mechanism of Kenizero reaction. Firstly, let me teach you that what is Kenizero reaction? The aldehydes with no alpha hydrogen in presence of base undergo auto oxidation and reduction to form salt of carboxylic acid and alcohol. This reaction is called Kenizero reaction. According to the definition, there is one important condition for the Kenizero reaction. Only those aldehydes follow Kenizero reaction which have no alpha hydrogen. For example, consider formal aldehyde. We can see that it has no alpha hydrogen. So form aldehyde follow Kenizero reaction. Secondly, consider Benz aldehyde. We can see that it has no alpha hydrogen. So it follows Kenizero reaction. The second condition for Kenizero reaction is they take place in the presence of concentrated potassium hydroxide or concentrated sodium hydroxide. Thus remember that all those aldehydes follow Kenizero reaction which have no alpha hydrogen like form aldehyde or benz aldehyde. Secondly, they take place in the presence of concentrated potassium hydroxide or concentrated sodium hydroxide. Here, let me teach you one important concept. All Kenizero reactions are disproportionation reactions. Now, what are disproportionation reactions? Well, when two molecules of the same compounds get oxidized and reduced at the same time, it is called disproportionation reaction. For example, consider these two molecules of aldehyde. Now, one molecule of aldehyde get oxidized to form carboxylic acid and another molecule of aldehyde get reduced to form alcohol. This reaction is called disproportionation reaction because one molecule of aldehyde is oxidized and another molecule of aldehyde is reduced. Thus noted down this very very important point. Now let me teach you the examples of Kenizero reactions. I will teach you my personal trick to solve any Kenizero reaction in less than a minute. For example, consider formaldehyde. We know that it has no alpha hydrogen. So it follows Kenizero reactions. I take two molecules of formaldehyde. We know that we use concentrated potassium hydroxide. Here, I use my personal trick. I cross this hydrogen of the aldehyde and I cross this hydrogen of potassium hydroxide. I write them here near the first aldehyde. It is like CH3OH. Hence, I get CH3OH which is known as methanol. Now the remaining reactants are hydrogen single bond carbon double bonded to oxygen and this KO. I write hydrogen single bonded to carbon double bonded to oxygen and I add this KO to it. I get salt of carboxylic acid or potassium format. We can see that first aldehyde is reduced to methanol and the second aldehyde is oxidized to salt of carboxylic acid. That's why we call it disproportionation reaction. Hence noted down this Kenizero reaction. Secondly, consider Benz aldehyde. We know that it has no alpha hydrogen. So it follows Kenizero reaction. As usual, I use my personal trick. I cross this hydrogen of the aldehyde and I cross this hydrogen of potassium hydroxide. I write them here near the first aldehyde. I get CH2OH and a benzene ring. It is known as benzyl alcohol. Secondly, the remaining reactants are CO of benzene ring and KO. 
I write CO and its benzene ring. I add KO to it. I get potassium benzoate. We can see that in this Kinezero reaction, one molecule of benzaldehyde is reduced to benzyl alcohol and one molecule of benzaldehyde is oxidized to potassium benzoate. That's why we also call it disproportionation reaction. Hence noted down this second reaction. Here, let me teach you one bonus question. Why ketones do not show Kinezero reaction? Well, it is because they have alpha hydrogen, due to which they do not show Kinezero reaction. For example, consider this ketone. We can see that this is alpha hydrogen and this is also alpha hydrogen. Due to these alpha hydrogens, they do not undergo a Kinezero reaction. Therefore, we say that ketones do not show Kinezero reaction because they have alpha hydrogen. Hence, note it down this bonus question. Finally, let me teach you the mechanism of Kinezero reaction. I personally solve the mechanism of Kinezero reaction in three simple steps. The first step is a take of nucleophile on carbonyl carbon. I take first molecule of aldehyde. We know that oxygen is more electronegative, hence partially negative charge appears on it. On the other hand, partially positive charge appears on carbon. We know that Kinezero reaction takes place in the presence of concentrated potassium hydroxide. The OH or nucleophile from the base attacks on this positively charged carbon. Let me repeat it. The OH or nucleophile from the base attacks on this positively charged carbon. I write this aldehyde molecule as it is. I attach this OH to the carbon. This is the first step of Kinezero reaction. The second step is Intermolecule hydride shifts to the second aldehyde. I take this enine and I place it here. Now I bring the second molecule of aldehyde. As usual, oxygen is more electronegative. Partially negative charge appears on it. And partially positive charge appears on this carbon. Here, this hydrogen will come out from the enine. It is known as hydride. Now this carbon is electron deficient. The double bond will shift to this carbon. As a result, we get hydrogen single bonded to carbon, double bonded to oxygen, single bonded to OH. It is known as formic acid. Secondly, this hydride will attack on the carbon of the second aldehyde. I get Hydrogen single bonded to carbon, bonded to oxygen, which carries partially negative charge. And I attach hydride to it. The third and the last step is rearrangement of molecules take place. We can see that this oxygen has partially negative charge. This hydrogen of formic acid is transferred to this oxygen. As a result, I get alcohol CH3OH which is known as methanol. The remaining reactant is hydrogen bonded to carbon, double bonded to oxygen and single bonded to oxygen which carries partially negative charge. I write it here. This is the complete mechanism of Kinezero reaction. But wait a minute. Here if you add the positive part of base which is potassium, you can do it according to your wishes. So I add this potassium to this oxygen. Now it is known as a salt of carboxylic acid. Therefore, using this simple method, we can easily learn the mechanism of Kinezero reaction.